वट इज वेट वेरिएशन डिफेक्ट हाउ वी कैन कंट्रोल वेट वेरिएशन डिफेक्ट एंड वट आर द रीजन विच रिजल्ट इन वेट वेरिएशन ड्यूरिंग टैबलेट कंप्रेशन ऑपरेशन वट आर द फॉर्मुलेशन रिलेटेड रीजन ऑफ वेट वेरिएशन एंड वट आर द मशीन रिलेटेड रीजन फॉर द वेट वेरिएशन एंड हाउ वी कैन रिजोल्व फॉर्मुलेशन रिलेटेड इशूज एंड हाउ वी कैन ओवरकम मशीन रिलेटेड इशूज ऑफ वेट वेरिएशन all these will be discussed in this video so if you are new to my channel first of all press the subscribe button and like the video so what is weight variation as the name indicates the variation in the weight of tablets is known as weight variation in pharmaceutical industries we have certain standards to meet the weight of tablets like bp and usp has given some ranges for the compression weight we will not discuss in detail the ranges of bp and usp we will record a separate video on the standards of weight variation according to bp and usp but in this video we will only discuss this defect its reasons and its solution so you know that weight variation is variation in weight of the tablet this variation may be in the average weight of tablet and this may very and this variation may also in the individual weight of the tablet let's try to explain it with example suppose we are going to compress a batch and the tablet weight is 500 mg tablet weight is 500 mg for average tablet weight mean weight of 10 tablets we have range of 490 to 510 mg these are suppose values and for individual tablet we have values of 430 to 530 mg mean during whole compression process our average weight must remain between 490 to 510 mg and our individual tablet weights must remain between the range of 4 sorry it is 470 mg between 470 mg and 530 mg but we observe that our weight is not uniform if we take example of average weight some of our average weight is 485 and sometime it is 515 mg and for individual tablets some tablets are on the low range like at 450 mg 460 mg and some are also on the upper side which are at 540 mg 5 50 mg so why this defect occur or why variation of weight in the tablet is observed during the compression process first of all we will discuss the formulation related issues which may contribute to the weight variation so first of all we will discuss the formulation related issues which may contribute to the weight variation defect so first formulation related issue which may contribute to the weight variation is the ratio of fine ratio of fine powder if our final blend contain more fine and less granules it will result in weight variation because you know that the flow of fines is less as compared to granules so we must have an optimum ratio of fine powders and granules if our ratio of fine is very high there may be many reasons of high fine production during wet granulation if we take the example of wet granulation 
what are the reasons the reasons of more fine production may be at the wet granulation stage mean our wetting or kneading is not proper mean our end point is not properly achieved if our end point is not properly achieved there will be more fine and less granules after drying the next one is the percentage of the binder mean if our formulation contain less amount of the binder it means that the binding capacity will be low and after drying and dry sieving more fine will be produced in the same way if the quantity of solvent added is less it will also reduce in production of more fine so to resolve the issue always try to use the optimum concentration of binder and also use optimum concentration of solvent and do observe your wetting or kneading step for proper end point the next one or next formulation related reason may be the selection of wrong sieve sieve selection play an important role on granule size so if our tablet weight is very large and we are using a very fine sieve it will produce more fine and fine will result in flow problem dye filling issues will be observed and in the same way if our tablet weight is very low mean our tablet compression weight is 150 mg and we are using the mesh number 12 it will produce large granules and it may result in disturbance in the dye filling during compression operation and will result in the weight variation defect so the solution is to always select the right sieve according to the tablet weight the third one is the moisture content if our final blend contain more moisture mean it is not properly dried it will result in weight variation what will be the reason the reason of weight variation will be the formation of rat hole what is the rat hole i will record a separate video on it basically rat hole results in the weight variation of the tablets so to solve this issue try to properly dry the granules and keep your moisture within the ranges as described in your as described in your batch manufacturing record the next one is the machine related issues mean what are the machine related issues which results in weight variation first one the formulation related second one is the machine related for machine related issues of weight variation the first one will be the speed mean if you if your machine speed is very high but your feeding of granules or your granules supply to dyes is lower it will result in the weight variation this function is available in advanced type of machines where you can also control the speed of your feeding granules or powders to the dyes so make a synchronization between machine speed and feeding of granules or powders to the dyes the next one is if you take the example of conventional compression machines is the hopper base adjustment mean if the hoppers are not properly installed on the compression machine they will also result in the weight variation if we install the hopper base very low to the feeding frame it will not results in proper flow of powders or granules from the hopper and will not supply to the feeding frame so the dye filling will be disturbed and weight variation will occur so slightly lifting of the hopper base may improve our powder or granules flow from the hopper and the weight variation defect is prevented first one is speed second one is hopper base adjustment the third one is the tooling 
mean if there is a variation in the length of our punches there may be a variation of some punch length which are installed on the upper portion or there may be variation of the lower punch length it will result in the weight variation to resolve the issue or to find that is there any variation of length in our punches routinely monitor the length of your upper and lower punches you can easily measure the length by using the vernier caliber the next one is the movement of lower punches if the movement of lower punches during tablet compression process is not smooth and it is observed that some punches are stuck or they are not freely moved it will disturb the die filling and will result in weight variation to solve the issue remove all the lower punches clean them and reinstall them and hope this issue will be resolved so i try my best to explain the possible reasons and remedies of weight variation if you like the video share it to others and subscribe my channel also subscribe farmandform.com till the next video allah hafiz